Hi, Bhaskar Napte from Pharma Growth Hub and today we are going to talk about one of the very important question when it comes to selection of the co-solvent during the KF titration. You very well know that the methanol is widely used as the solvent during the Carl Fischer titration. But is methanol sufficient for all kind of samples? In case if your sample is hydrophilic, hydrophobic, will methanol suffice the requirement? And what is the requirement? The methanol must be able to solubilize the sample inside it. And in case if the sample is not getting solubilized in methanol, in that situation, you have to use the co-solvent. You have to add another suitable solvent in such a way that the sample will get completely soluble inside the titration vessel. So what kind of compounds are generally found to be insoluble in alcohol? And that makes the need of using the co-solvent. So if you look at the long chain hydrocarbons or the lipophilic compound, now these substances have the limited solubility in alcohols and same will be the case for the methanol. So in case if a sample is long chain hydrocarbons or lipophilic, check the solubility in methanol. In case if it is not soluble, now this is the right time to think about usage of the co-solvent. So you can use your methanol as a part of your reaction, but also additionally add required amount of volume in the reaction vessel. The another co-solvent, you, you need to add another co-solvent into the reaction vessel such that your substance will get solubilized. Because unless and until the substance gets solubilized, the water will not come out of it and you will not be able to measure the water without any error. So it is very important to make sure that the sample gets completely solubilized inside the reaction vessel. And that is the purpose of sometimes using the co-solvent. So how to increase solubility of long chain hydrocarbons? So the high solubility of the long chain hydrocarbons can get increased in the presence of one propanol. So I am not asking here to replace the methanol by propanol. You need to have the methanol as a part of your reaction vessel. In addition to that, you add certain amount of one propanol and this will further help in increasing the solubility of the long chain hydrocarbons or lipophilic compound. Chloroform is also found to be a very good solvent in terms of increasing the solubility of long chain hydrocarbons or lipophilic compound. So use the suitable proportionate of chloroform in case if a compound is not soluble in methanol and if it is the lipophilic in the nature. The third important solvent that you can think about is the formamide. So likewise, with one propanol or chloroform, now formamide also helps in solubilizing the long chain hydrocarbons in presence of methanol. So what are the examples of uh, this one? You can think about the carbohydrates, you can think about the proteins or inorganic salt. Inorganic salt will also get solubilized in presence of formamide, starch and other foodstuff and naturally occurring substances. So during this kind of samples, you can always think of formamide. So what are the co-solvents we discussed in this video? The three important co-solvent. The first one is one propanol. The second one is chloroform and third one is formamide. So what are another co-solvent that you know? please do type in the chat box. So what co-solvent that can also be used during the KF titration. Thank you so much.